alleen al als ik, uh, als ik deze muziek hoor, dan krijg ik alweer kippenvel. We zitten hier in de Outer World, jongens. En de Outer World is voor mij um, zeker wanneer we het over uh, games... Volgens mij kwam deze in 2019 uit, als ik me niet vergis. Het was in ieder geval, uh, van dat jaar was het een uh, van de beste games die ik, uh, die ik dat jaar heb gespeeld. Uh, heeft echt een goede indruk op mij gemaakt van Obsidian natuurlijk. Het is een soort van... Ja, spirituele opvolger van Fallout. Obsidian heeft Fallout games natuurlijk gemaakt, dat weet iedereen. En um, ja, die, die franchise ligt natuurlijk bij Bethesda. En uh, Obsidian had zoiets van, wij kunnen dat beter. En dus hebben ze de Outer Worlds gemaakt. Fantastische game. Einde was een beetje een anticlimax voor me. Maar uh, de hele weg daar naartoe was fantastisch. Dus dubbel en dwars waard. En um, vandaag, althans deze week... ...is de Peril on Gorgon uh, DLC uitgekomen. En die gaan we spelen. Ik kan niet wachten om dit te gaan checken. Ik had even wat problemen om uh, mijn save game op, over te zetten... ...want ik speelde hem eerst op Xbox Game Pass. Ik heb nu een code voor de Epic Game Store... ...dus het was wat gehannes, maar het is uiteindelijk toch allemaal gelukt. We gaan er gewoon in duiken, jongens. Load game. En dan openen we deze manual save. En dit is uh, vlak... Voor het einde van de Outer Worlds. Want je kan de Outer Worlds niet uitspelen voordat je uh, Peron Gorgon hebt gespeeld. En hier zijn we aan boord van de hoop. Dus uh, laten, laten we deze nieuwe deel, uh, DLC gewoon gelijk gaan starten. En daarvoor moeten we naar Monarch. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Uh, voor de mensen die niet weten wie Alex Hawthorne is, dat ben ik niet. Uh, dit schip waar we nu op zitten is van Alex Hawthorne. Uh, dat is een guy die ons zou helpen, maar die is dood. With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. En heel veel mensen denken dat wij Hawthorne zijn. Thank you for your patience. And please remember HPS for all of your future parcel related needs. Make rude hand gesture. Oké, okay, kijk, hier staat hij. Het pakketje. Ah, oh, nice. Dit is een hand in. Hawthorne, I've been getting this. Something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. Dit klinkt heel vet. Klinkt een beetje detectiveachtig. Compound up to the sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bid card for qualified help. Trust me. Her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. At least this won't be boring. Exactly. <clears throat> Ada, what the hell is going on? Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Andros. Who was this guy? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. Sounds promising. He had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. You mean luck. Luck does not exist, Captain. Nevertheless, I am programmed to agree with your assessment. 
I have transferred the coordinates for Andros Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. Laten we doen. Waar moeten we heen? Daar. Nee, verder naar beneden. Daar gaan we. Intrige. Uh, Gorgon. Ambrose Manor. Is dat Corgan? Ja, dat zie je astroïde. Oké. Okay. Volgens mij staat hier ergens een workbench. Ik heb, uh, ik heb alle tijd deze game niet meer gespeeld. Dus wel even. Uh, ja, hier. Kijken of ik dingen nog moet gaan repareren. Um, gebruik ik deze? Ja, die gebruik ik zeker. Deze ook. Het zijn allemaal... Oh, ik heb geen weapon parts meer. Oké, okay, hiermee moeten we doen. Let's go! Ja, deze twee neem ik allebei mee. Welkom to Ambrose Manor. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stay from... Het ziet er wel dik uit, man. Don't worry, little fella. We're mostly law-abiding folk. Oh my god. <laughs> Wat een nonsens. Kunnen we hem helpen of niet? Nee, volgens mij kan dat niet. Nou, dan lopen we gewoon door naar die manor. Die manor ziet er best wel dope uit, namelijk. Ik hou zo van die stijl van de Outer Worlds, man. Die, die 50 sci-fi vibe. Oh, dat ging per ongeluk. Kijk, de hoop ook hier staan. Oh, de, de hoop. De unreliable. Jezus. Bijna Adams family hier, joh. Oh, Captain, something here don't feel right. Is that you, Lucky? Huh? Apparently not. So who the devil are you? Sarcastic bandit, Captain of the Unreliable. You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass. Ik denk dat ze evil is. Maar laten we gewoon lekker meespelen. Give a cheerful toast. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose, but you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Now, what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. Um, I'm here about a severed arm. A severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Does the name Lucky Montoya mean anything to you? Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man. Very brooding and theatrical. Always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. But if something happened to him... Oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now? Uh, okay, go. Any idea who might have wanted to kill him? Yes. Foul play. Interesting. If we're being honest, I haven't given it much thought. What a time for his luck to run out. 
We were in the middle of something grand and I really can't afford another setback. Ik weet niet, ik heb het idee dat zij erachter zit. Let me guess, she needs someone to finish whatever Lucky started. Excellent deduction. I can tell I found the right man for the job. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy and I think you're well suited to the job. You offer work to everyone who breaks into your home? Must be some kind of Byzantine tradition I ain't know about. You're awful quick to trust a bunch of strangers that broke into your home. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good. A scruffy looking nerve herder. How likely am I to wind up like your old freelancer? The man lost an arm. What are the odds of that happening twice? Of course, Gorgon is a treacherous place, and my own family's involvement with it has been fraught. Allow me to lay out the facts, and you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. Go on. I'm not surprised. Space Choice is one big ass. Nah, go on. One day, Space's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. It must have been real hard on you. Losing your mother all of a sudden like that. I'm sorry to hear it, ma'am. Thank you. Ambrose ladies are supposed to be resilient to the unexpected, but this was especially hard on me. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's Choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Why would they lie? Indeed. To cover up their crimes? To discredit someone who knew too much? I'm hoping you can find out for me. Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. What do you think happened on Gorgon? I don't know. The Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. Gorgon has a dark history. The project fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. Where's your father in all of this? Father lost more than his job on Gorgon. I'll say no more than that. The asteroid may look like a glittering jewel, but I assure you the resemblance ends there. Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. Tell me about your mother. I admired mother, but we weren't close. She disapproved of everything about me, really. I couldn't measure up to her example. She didn't make time for us. I remember thinking that she never wanted a child and never forgave me for being one. Naïve en irresponsible als ik was. Oké, okay, die twee liggen elkaar dus niet. Zij en haar moeder. En er is iets met de moeder gebeurd. En er is iets met haar vader gebeurd waar ze het niet over wil hebben. Ik vertrouw haar niet, man. Um, maybe there's another side of that story. Ik vertrouw dat ik alleen mijn was hier om het te vertellen in haar eigen woord. Mijn moeder zichzelf tot de bone. She wanted to make the colony a better place. No matter who or what got sacrificed along the way. She never spared a thought for those of us who cherished her. Who suffered for her idea of progress. Mm, so Gorgon pulled you apart? We weren't terribly close to begin with, I'm afraid. But that accursed asteroid certainly didn't improve our relations. Mother and Gorgon were made for each other. I had the misfortune to be stuck in the middle. I need your help, Captain. 
Project Gorgon killed Mother and disgraced the Ambrose name, and no one has been held accountable. Spacer's choice buried the past like a dirty secret. Hmm. Are you interested in justice, revenge, or both? Neither. It's vindication I want. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. Hmm, misschien is het toch niet slecht. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Danger and corporate intrigue. This sounds like my kind of job. I admire your enthusiasm. This manner has echoed with my own we, and I can feel you breathing new life into the walls. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. The corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. Mm, what did you tell Lucky about his job? I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Why? I'm trying to calculate the odds of this gig getting me killed. It's sure to be a hundred percent with that attitude. Still, you're smart to ask. Lucky spent most of our time together spinning a pistol around his index finger. Not sure you listen to any of my advice. More bravado than talent, huh? I know the type. He had an aura of rugged individualism that was quite charming. Not that it helped him in the end. But you won't let me down, will you, Captain? Mm, I'll try not to, since it's my life on the line. That's the spirit. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad. The Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room. So if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. I ought to stop in and taste the local flavor. Oh, you think maybe they got a little mascot? Like a Sprat in a tiny hat? Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? What's the catch? There's always a catch. The catch? No one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'll be in touch. A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Mysterious heiress, unexpected gainful employment. It's like something out of a detective serial. Ja, dat zei ik al. Salvage rights and a picture. <coughs> This is almost too good to be true. En dus is dat het ook waarschijnlijk. Ik weet niet, ik vertrouw haar zeker nog niet. Maar we doen gewoon rustig aan. Het is niet alsof we heel veel keuze hebben op dit moment. Oh jee, schrik me dood, joh. Maar dan gaan we naar die uh, saloon. Het heet uh, The Lucky Spread of zo. Ik was al even de naam vergeten, maar het zal ongetwijfeld aangegeven zijn. Ah, deze game heeft zoveel vibe, man. Ongelooflijk. En uh, trouwens, we hebben nieuwe dingen. Hier even vijf bij doen en persuade ook de rest. Ja. Perks. Um, Oké, nee, ja, deze nemen. Nou, dan zijn we genoeg voorbereid. Here we go. 
The Unreliable. Wat een gruwelijke naam voor een schip. Stap Ede. Uh, ja, hier moeten we zijn. Kijk, we waren dus net daar en we gaan daar naartoe. Met dezelfde twee dames. Volgens mij is dit de mansion ook, waar we nu naar kijken. Ja, het ziet er wel weer prachtig uit. Volgens mij gaat er een alarm af. Oké, okay, ik kan niet hacken. Kijk dat beestje. Waar is de check? Oh daar. De spread check, dat was het toch? Spread check, ja ja ja. ja. We moeten dat beest ook gewoon volgen, zie je dat? Waar gaat hij in één keer heen naartoe? Is het een puppy of zo? Ik dacht, is een rat? Spread check. Kom hier. Let's have a chat. All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. No. <laughs> Want to run that by me again? Cut the bullshit. What do you want? I want to be taken seriously, but I'll settle for a little less attitude in the future. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. What did you mean when you said people had changed? Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. What happens when people change? First, they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves on account of how they soiled themselves. After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. Uh, where exactly am I? Spratshack, the most remote watering hole in the system. Rule number one, no fighting. Rule number two, wipe your feet on the way downstairs. We're the only hospitable place on this rock. I want to keep it that way. That's why we have rule number three. When people change, they stay outside where they belong. Von Hoffman. Just don't ask me to dance. No worries. Um, what kinds of people come to the spread shack? This is a sublight bar. So most of our regulars come to plunder the old labs. The facility's locked up behind miles of red tape. So progress is slow. A lot of time to drink and reevaluate, then venture out and try again. What do you do around here? Bodyguard, law enforcer. I make sure the Sprat Shack gets only the highest caliber of clientele. That's us. <laughs> well, I hope you look the other way just this once. We get a lot of brand loyal corporate types and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. Both sides have their share of dirty scoundrels. And I hate dirt. Mm, okay, see you around. Come downstairs, order something sweet. Mm, we'll see about that. Look, just like one of those bars in the detective serials. Is this for echt a fan girl, huh? I had a good trip with Kale. Hope they've got it on tap. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. First one's on the house, and I won't even water it down. What'll it be? 
Um, Spectrum vodka. I want to see colors. Lots of them. Bottoms up. Rumor has it you're the one who put Lilia Hagen six feet under. Any truth to that? She's got us dead to rights, Captain. Might as well be honest. Nope. I'll say this. You might give careful consideration to your next words. Well? Depends how high is the bounty on my head. Bounty? There's no bounty. We all liked Hagen around here, but no one's about to stick their neck out over that nut job. So, did you really do it? Yeah, I killed her. No shit. You made it out of Groundbreaker in one piece and everything. That took some stones. Hagen was a wild card. Powerful, but unreliable. When I heard the news, I poured out a bottle of top shelf whiskey in her name. She would have hated that. You didn't hold a service or nothing? She was a nice lady. Someone should have at least said some kind words. No love among thieves, huh? I assume you're here for salvage. Um, sure. Got any leads? Even if I did, I ain't supposed to play favorites. Ik durf niet recht op de man af te vragen. Sublight scavengers. They pick over the ruins of Gorgon, spend their earnings at the bar, and uh, head back out the next day. Vicious cycle, but that's life. You're the first new face I've seen in a while. Ik wil eerst een beetje haar vertrouwen winnen. Dus ik ga niet gelijk vragen naar die journal. Um, you know anyone by the name of Lucky Montoya? Lucky? Sure, I knew him. He could get a little dramatic at times, but he was a good guy. Heard he took on a dangerous job. Spent a lot of time coming and going from the office of Creative Incubation, just down the road. Office of Creative Incubation? That's where the top rungers at Spacer's Choice came up with slogans of marketing. Lucky never told me why it was so important. <sighs> Awful shame about what happened to him. What happened? You really want to hear my story? <laughs> Lol. Most everyone around here is sick to death of it by now. Last I saw of Lucky was a few days ago. I went outside for a smoke and a stroll, and I saw this wild canid dragging a bloody limb. So I kicked the canid, scared it off. Go on. Get this. The canid was chewing on an honest-to-law human arm. Lucky's arm. Uh-huh. How'd you know it belonged to Lucky? I'm a bartender. Attention to detail is my middle name. Anyway. The arm was clutching a phonograph that mentioned someone named Alex Hawthorne. I did some poking around, and this Hawthorne has a reputation among the uh, <clears throat> salvagers who frequent the bar. So I packaged up the arm nice and tidy and sent it care of the Halcyon Parcel Service. They even gave me a discount on the hazardous waste removal stamp. The arm made it to me. I'm Hawthorne's next of kin. Nah. Why bother sending the arm at all? Where was Lucky staying? Floor. Once I figured he wasn't coming back to pay his tab, I left his room unlocked to air it out. You can help yourself to anything you left behind. Fair warning, I've been letting the regulars use it for a quick lie down. Just wash your hands when you're done. Trust me. I will. Mm, how about a drink? Bring your poison. We need beer. Ah, pak deze gewoon. Eentje is genoeg. Sell junk and repair all equipped. Ja, kijk, dat was wel belangrijk. Um, nou, dan gaan we naar boven. Derde verdieping zei ze. Ja, who cares? Dit was zijn kamer. 
Mac pick requires code to unlock. Day one, Space Choice may have left in a hurry, but they didn't forget to lock the doors on the way out. Most of the facilities are sealed up tighter than a tub runger safe. Time to do some digging. Caught a break today, met a scavenger who claims to be a salesman for Space Choice. Sold me a key to the Office of Creative Incubation. Let's just say this guy's about as lucid as a spread in Rizzo's factory, but I'm spending minis bits, so I can't afford to take a chance. It worked. Clarence mostly. Whoever you are, I'm drinking on you tonight. Olivia Ambrose's office and journal ought to be in the synthesis and manufacturing center. The bad news is it's sealed up and at the ass end of a canyon. The good news is I should be able to open it from the Big Wigs admin terminal in the OCI. OCI is crawling with marauders and I've got a few other leads to chase now. Could be nothing, but my gut tells me there's more to this place than the missing journal. Time to turn over a few rocks to see what crawls out. I'm leaving the OCI key in the safe. 4815. Okay. That's weird. Preserved eye. Hmm. Bit cartridge. That's all that good. Light machine gun. Can we wel it? Capsules here. Loot is heel erg belangrijk in deze game. Dus vooral uh, bullets waren altijd een uh, probleem bij mij. Nou, Oké, okay, we hebben het toch. Wat, uh, wat moeten we nu doen? Even kijken. You found an eyeball in Lucky's room. Apparently grants access to the office of creative incubation on Gorgon. According to Lucky's notes, the administrative terminal OCI should unseal the way to Olivia Ambrose's office in the synthesis and manufacturing center. Oké, okay, moeten we hier echt door dan of zo? Nee, we moeten gewoon naar buiten denk ik. Toch? Waar is de trap? Waar is de trap? Oh, daar. Ik ben net zo schil, ja. Mijn god. Huh? Waar moeten we dan toe? Hier weer? I've heard more than enough of your shit for one day. Watch your step. Von Hoffman sees everything. Von Hoffman. Nou, dan gaan we de wijde wereld in. Hier zijn we. Nou, loop niet op de zaken vooruit. Even kijken, map. Oké, okay, we moeten gewoon hier tussendoor lopen. Kijk hoe vet dit eruit ziet, man. Dat is toch insane? Het is grafisch misschien niet moeders mooiste. Maar qua vibe is het echt insane. Um, even kijken wat voor guns we eigenlijk hebben. Kijk, 662. En net hadden we iets opgepikt van 900 nog wat. Dat bedoel ik. Um, light machine gun. Shock cannon. Wat zijn twee light machine guns? Good work. En dit is een heavy weapon. Long gun. Long gun. Heavy weapon. Nou, laten we deze pakken. Light machine gun. We kunnen ze allemaal ook nog upgraden trouwens. Hè? Dus we zitten niet gelijk vast aan niets. Nou, laten we de rest zo doen. Uh, hoe kom ik ook weer? Oh ja, hier. We geven haar daar ook eentje. Van 960 en Pravati ook. Ik weet niet of het een slimme keuze is op dit moment, maar we proberen het gewoon even. We zien wel hoe het gaat. Oh, 
Oh wow, the sending off film yet. Het is wel echt een heel vet wapen dit trouwens. Het is niet die ene die ik net equipped heb. Even kijken wat waren de dingen. X, C en V. Ja, dat was hem. Even kijken. Looten, looten. Nee, die heeft niks achtergelaten. Deze zeker wel. Die hebben we niet nodig. Deze wel. Nu echt stort schip. we hierin? Gewoon recht door. Dan zou ik zeggen die kant op. Niet hier. Ik wil weten hoe die changed people eruit zien. Het zou een soort van savages moeten zijn. Uh, Deze wel. Ik lig hier nog wat. Nee. Ja, gewoon doorlopen dan. Deze hebben wij niet gekild, toch? Of lopen we nu per ongeluk terug? Nee. Nee, deze hebben wij zeker niet gekild. Dit zijn allemaal marauders ook. Ja. Deze heeft niks. Die ook niks. I'm not taking any chances. Uh oh. Oh, dat gaat toch sneller dan gedacht. Wat zijn al deze dingen, jongen? <laughs> Waarom zijn ze in beeld allemaal? De muziek is lekker eerie. Initiating ocular measurement. Show the scanner. The preserved eye. Measurement complete. Ocular identification complete. Welcome, Clarence Mostly. Access granted. Welcome to the office of creative incubation. Thank you all. Here we go. Oké, okay, hier zijn we. Het ziet er uh, inmiddels een beetje aftans uit, maar... Oké, okay, we moeten naar boven. Oh, hier ligt. Allemaal dingetjes die ik wel kan gebruiken. Bit cartridge, kijk. Standard troop. Ja, misschien hebben dat we die nodig hebben voor een uh, disguise of zo. Wat is dit allemaal, joh? Zo gruwelijk, man. Nee, daar kunnen we niet in. Maar hier kunnen we wel naar boven. Even kijken wat hierin zit. Hoop Adrenos wel. Daar heb ik er nu 50 van. Dus dat moet ik wel overleven. Even 
kijken, hoe komen we nog verder die kant op? Oeh. Oh, laat maar. <laughs> Ik wilde nog heel sneaky zijn, maar het zat er niet meer in. Wie is Pavati aan het vechten dan? Oh, deze man. Deze gun is wel echt OP hoor. Oh, waar zijn ze? Volgens mij zijn er nog een paar. Uh, Oké. Okay. Oh, dat ging per ongeluk. Waarom liggen al die beesten hier, joh? Nee. Nou, volgens mij hebben we al die gasten hier wel. Ja, daar zit niks in. Dan gaan we gewoon door. Daar kunnen we niet in. Hier wel. Surprise! Hebben ze al? Nee. Nu hebben ze allemaal. Oké, okay, Dream of Time. Kijk, dat zijn de dingen die ik nodig heb. Energy cells. Oké, okay, wauw, deze zijn even. Uh, instructions. The best. Uh, lethargic after creative day of incubation. Oké, okay, nee, hier hebben we niet zoveel aan. Dit gaat ons niet verder helpen. Ik pak al die troopers shit maar op. Omdat ik niet weet of we het straks gaan nodig hebben. Nee, waarom doe ik dat elke keer als ik reload? Oh, wat? Ze worden geheeld. Dan zetten we haar even in. En down he goes. Ja, dat is prima. Grenade launcher? Nee, heb ik niet nodig. Wat komen we nog meer tegen? Daar moeten we in de admin terminal. Het is niet helemaal duidelijk nog hoe we daar gaan komen, maar... Via deze weg? Hier zijn we volgens mij al geweest. Hmm. Okay, want hier liepen we naar binnen zo. Ja. Oh, 
altijd goed. Surprise! En stay down. Nee, die heb ik ook niet nodig. Deze wel. Hmm. Het is een beetje desoriënterend. Uh, dit gebouw. Het is voor mij niet helemaal duidelijk waar ik nou precies naartoe moet. Kijk, het is hierboven. Maar hier kunnen we natuurlijk weer niet erin. Kunnen we hier erin? Nee, ook niet. Nee, nee. Ja, hier kwamen we net vandaan. Hmm. Workbench. Oké, okay, hier liggen al die dingen natuurlijk. Nee. Maar wat is dit? Optional maintenance room key. Ja, nee, die heb ik niet. Weapon parts, weapon parts. Oké. Okay. Ik denk dat we weer naar boven moeten. Dit is een uh, doodspoor. How do I get there? Hey, ik zag iets vliegen. Kom maar door. Oké, okay, die is kapot. Ik ben over encumbered. Uh, even kijken hoor. Wat ik dacht dat ik nu wel betere armen had op een pik. Ja, zie. 63. Dan trekken we die heel even aan. Dan moeten we wel even weggooien wat, uh, wat niet meer gebruikbaar is. Wat heeft Nioka aan? 64, dat is prima. En Parvati. 68. Ze hebben allemaal betere spullen dan ik. Wat is dat nou weer? Uh, nou, dan droppen we even een paar van die dingen. Drop. Nee, doe maar. At the junk. Break, kan je breakdown gewoon doen en dan. Oh, we hebben nog betere. Ik zie het nu pas. Doe maar dat, ja. Kijk, dit maakt al een heel groot verschil. We kunnen het later nog wel even gaan upgraden. Adreno. Adreno. Tactical shotgun. Hebben we ook niet nodig. Ja, hier hebben we de trap gevonden. Combat drone. We moeten wel op deze verdieping zijn. Dus ik ga nog even niet verder. Naar boven daar. Je fight first. Nee, het is oké okay, man. Even kijken. Welcome, good fellow. Please select from the following options. Admin functions. Unlock synthesis and manufacturing center. Dat is heel belangrijk, want daar ligt die journal. Dat hebben we nu gedaan. Error. Uh oh. Place under emergency lockdown. Dat is niet oké. Okay. Override. Is het gelukt? 
Overriding requires authorization from senior staff at ChemLab. Dan moeten we dus zijn Human Inquiry and Auditing. Staff Directory Protocol activated. Please visit Transmission Tower Alpha for Staff Directory. Uh, nog steeds locked. ChemLab. Oké, okay, daar moeten we dus naartoe. Turn to root. Unlock elevator. Dat is wel handig natuurlijk. Incoming messages from Ambrose. Sees all recordings. High priority. Uh, bring them to me immediately. And for fuck's sake, don't let the journali journalist off the fucking asteroid. Dr. Olivia Ambrose. Probeer dus iets uh, te verbergen. You think you can hide from me, you little twerp? I know a serum that will make you feel as if you've lived a thousand years in just eight hours. I think that this, uh, that spell is where people have over have, uh, that's a changed sign. How would you like to spend the night in waste processing? Cheers, Ollie. It's well a uh, gekke vrouw, man. Change the fucking name, Lawrence. I don't care if the inbred simpletons at the headquarters were just having a laugh. Customers don't know what it means. You may choose from the list of acceptable alternatives. Okay, what, what is this? Toxic free rebranding. Okay, the boot falls my need so fell. Turn the messages. Outgoing messages. If you're receiving this message, I'm currently. Okay, that's all need. Dr. Ambrose, great timing. I was just sending Herbie over to your department with preliminary production schedule. As with so much work we do at the OCI, the design production schedule is more of an art than a science. Timetables and milestones are less contractual obligation and more aspirational cartography. Okay. Deze guy, die Lawrence, ziet er best wel oké okay uit. Approved. Next time, allow me to make uh, this kind of announcement myself, Mr. Mosley. Hierarchy exists for a reason. From Mosley to Goodfella. Many of the familiar audio pictures by Sentium Perfect. Oké. Oké. Okay, whatever. Whatever this is about, know that I don't respond to threats. I understand that you think yourself a big hero here on a big, important job. The last one did too. But you've grossly misapprehended the situation here. This place is a graveyard. All that was done here should be forgotten and left to rot. Hmm. You're hiding something. I'll find it out. Is the birthplace of marauders. We created them here, in this very facility. They are our misbegotten children, born of hubris and vanity. Marauders were created? Those bastards! That don't make any sense. How could marauders get to Edgewater from all the way out here? They hold no fondness for trespassers. I've placed the facility under emergency lockdown to keep them safe. Let the marauders die in peace. Or I will make certain that you die with them. Oh wow, we gaan the marauders uh, redden? We were hi hired to find the journal. But the journal gaat waarschijnlijk over hoe ze marauders hebben gecreëerd of niet. Right. Someone set a plague on our colony. My friends and neighbors became marauders, Captain. They hurt a lot of folks, and Edgewater still ain't the same. If this place caused that, I want to know. Same. Whatever secrets buried here, we'll root them out. Does it change what we're here to do? We need to journal. Why can't anything be simple and straightforward for once? Okay. Maar we gaan het doen. Pick a perfecto. Hey. Is that unreliable? Ah, it's going a spaceship. Um, where are we going? 
Locate facility staff using the comms tower. In order to access the synthesis and manufacturing center, you need to send overrides from two other facilities, human inquiry and auditing and the chem lab. Denk dat we dat gaan bewaren voor de volgende keer. Jongens, dit is, uh, ja, want het is een uurtje spelen ongeveer. We hebben ongeveer een uur nu gespeeld. Dit is het eerste uur van The Outer Worlds, Peril on Gorgon. En um, ja, ik zit er gelijk alweer lekker in. Even een iets andere twist vergeleken met, um, met de normale Outer Worlds. Dit is echt uh, heavy op de uh, 50s detective vibe. Ik, ik dik het wel. En, um, oh, wow, ik zie daar iemand rondlopen trouwens. Oh nee, dat is een, uh, dat is een bot. Maar, um, ja, ik heb er heel erg veel zin in. Ik ga deze game streamen. Ik ga deze game ook op YouTube uh, zetten. Dus uh, mocht je dat willen blijven volgen, dan weet je me te vinden. Voor nu wil ik je bedanken voor het kijken. En we checken elkaar de volgende keer weer. Later!